Lee, I'm delighted to announce you as our, our new manager. How pleased are you to be here? Super pleased, yeah. I'm really excited, obviously, just even being on the, on the pitch, you know, seeing the stadium, getting a feel about the city. Um, it's a massive, iconic, like historic club, and uh, I'm really proud, actually, on a, on a personal level to be here, but also on a professional level, excited and focused to, to go and be successful. Yeah, the discussions went on for, for some time. What was that like for you? What was that whole process like? It's an enjoyable process, if I'm honest with you. Um, the first conversation was in London. It was it was just a general chat, really, that was supposed to be an hour and ended up lasting three and a half hours. So that was, that was interesting. And then we maintained contact, but at the same time, at that point, I really sort of got my juices flowing. And um, I wanted to know more. You know, I wanted to know more about the squad. I wanted to know more about the budget. So I wanted to know more about the options. Uh, the availability of players um, and therefore you continue to do your own research. Went a bit quiet then for a, uh, a couple of weeks um, but that was okay um, and then I ended up having I think it was like a six and a half hour board meeting uh, as a final interview so by the end I, I could hardly speak and I was uh, bored of my own voice. What, what was that like the six and a half hour board meeting because that was the first time wasn't it where, that you met our executive chairman Ron Gordon? Yes it was um, do you know what? I think it works both ways. Like it's just as important for a manager. Look, this is a really a big step for me. You know, having just left Sunderland um, in a good position, uh, it was important for me that I got the right personalities and the right feel about the football club. And um, like, you've always got the human element, so you know you want to feel you can connect um, with the individuals and the, the decision makers, really. But of course, you have to impress and you have to. Um, demonstrate a knowledge uh, of the football club but also an understanding of what you're going to do to take the football club forward and uh, hopefully I did that and here I am today. Yeah, and You obviously mentioned um, leaving Sunderland, you, you haven't been out of work for, for too long, is that something you always had in your mind or, or was it waiting for the perfect opportunity to present itself? It was definitely waiting for the right fit, there's no doubt on that. Um, it's, a, it's a really, the, the football club itself Hibs sells itself. Um, obviously, I've been up here before in terms of I've played in Scotland, so I understand the passion that goes with a big club like this. I understand the expectation that goes with a big club like this, and all you want to really do is add value to be able to allow the club to flourish and achieve as much as possible. Um, and that's what I try to demonstrate. You know, I think. Uh, I'm not a huge name in terms of an ex-player and I didn't last long twice up here for different reasons as a player and obviously I hope to last uh, a lot longer as a manager but I feel I'm in a place now, a uh, good age with a lot of experience, a lot of games behind my belt, I've managed some big clubs and obviously this is the next step of what's been a really interesting learning journey for me. How do you think those spells in Scottish football as a player will help you up here in, in terms of management because the game, like you say, is very different up here to, to how it is in England. Yeah, I think Scottish football for me is something that I've always enjoyed. You've got to remember I'm actually half Scottish as well. So despite the accent, um, you know, it's my roots and it's my family's roots. So um, it's important, I think, for my family as well that I'm a success in Scotland. But it's not for me. The success, hopefully, is for the football club. Um, and that's what I'm trying to bring that small percentage if you like to I don't know bring the fan base if you like and get an identity I want to see this stadium packed out you know I want to see the fans being a big part of our identity I want to see them encouraging the, the way we play you know and, and therefore they then become part of the performance and that's the bit that when you when you've cracked that you, you can be really powerful and have I think uh, good success in Scotland. Yeah, and through your, your family roots and playing here at Easter Road for, for Kilmarnock, I, I can imagine that, that you know a lot and have learnt a lot about Hibernian FC. I have, and do you know what? I've enjoyed learning about the history of it as well, and I'll continue to learn about history. I, I do like history. I'm a bit of a history geek, actually, and uh, I enjoy um, getting in the psyche of the supporters and the fan base. Um, I find that really interesting, and obviously looking back at the historical roots of, of this club, um, it just makes you feel like you're part of something.
bigger than just football and that and that's why I'm here I'll be honest with you because of the rich history of the football club and uh, aiming to be a part of, of the future of that yeah and like you say the, the club's had a really rich history it was a disappointing season last year but do you see this as a project now something or a platform where you can really build something at this football club yeah I see it as a really important role um, you know you be, at the end of the day you know what football management is like you want stability don't be a football manager but you commit and you commit fully and and I will you know I'll commit to the area I'll commit to the people I'll commit to the players and give everything I've got um, to prove um, that a we can be successful but b we can have fun along the way and, and try and like I say reconnect the fan base to, to the playing style as much as possible and uh, I think it's a really good fit uh, I really do um, Talk to us about your, your playing style then and, because it was one that, that was praised by Pep Guardiola <laughs> that, was a, that was a nice moment I have to say and uh, again having been around sort of the City group and, and Pep Guardiola a couple of times uh, you see the quality shine through so to get that I suppose accolade of people like that is amazing um, but look I want to I want to play a high tempo brand of football you know I think I turn the dial to to quite attacking um, during the games I think that uh, we've got a team and we've got players that naturally fit in and then of course we're going to have to recruit um, to try and enhance that but certainly the, the attacking football is key for me you know all my strikers tend to score goals um, which becomes really important you know we want to feed the strikers and feed the strikers early um, we possession isn't a key factor for me it's more about the principles of the individual position and we want to recruit absolute around that and make sure that whatever playing formation we play that our, our consistency of our playing style is aggressive front foot and I'll try and win every game I guarantee you that sometimes to, to our detriment but uh, we go to the to the big boys we're going to go to win 100% uh, and uh, we'll make sure that we're super aggressive in our playing style. Yeah, you mentioned recruitment a couple of times there. How much backing will you be given by, by the board, by, by the CEO, to, to go and get the players that you want that fit your style of play? Yeah, I believe that I'll be backed. You know, I wouldn't be here uh, if I didn't. Um, it comes back to that interview and recruitment process working both ways. Um, obviously, it's down to me to make sure I sign off on the players, but there's a whole team that goes behind that. You know, a manager's job is so diverse, there's so many areas of it where you have to try and be the best as you possibly can but you also then recruit good staff and good people to be able to obviously enhance that process and and I was really I'm really comfortable um, with the process I'm really comfortable with the clarity and uh, I'm looking forward to to bringing good players there's a lot of young players at the club we will bring more young players to the club but hopefully that will aid our our playing style to be aggressive to be robust uh, to play forward, to run forward, to have good cohesion between the units. And, and I've actually been to a couple of games as well, by the way. I've been incognito uh, both at Livingston and Dundee, so it was uh, nice not to get spotted, even though I did have a fake nose, tash and glasses on. <laughs> and obviously for, for you, you've been watching those games. How much homework did you do on Hibernian FC in terms of the, the squad? and? how those players will, will fit into the style that, that you want. Yeah, of course, that, like total, you know, as much as I could. Um, I think since the opportunity came about for the original conversation, I probably spent 95% of my time researching, um, despite having other options uh, to go uh, into other roles and other clubs, both across England and uh, the world, actually. I really just felt connected to the Hibs project very quickly. So I've had a laser-like focus, I'd say, on, on looking at the individual strengths and weaknesses. I said about adding value, and, and that's the same with players. Like, what can I bring or my coaching team uh, bring to that player to make them better? And therefore, obviously, the sum of parts in the team uh, becomes better because the individual's better. But there's so many elements that go into it, and that's the beauty of management, of coaching. You know, it's the leadership side, it's the culture piece uh, that the players obviously can drive, it's the clarity, it's the detail in which you coach, it's the performance centre where everything needs to run smoothly. So that's the bit I'm really looking forward to is getting down and dirty uh, at 
HTC and actually in enjoying the process of bedding in uh, the way I want to work. Yeah, it's just a, under a month and until the players are, are back at HTC. How much are you looking forward to that moment and what do you do between now and then? Well, I think certainly have conversations with, with, with the players, as many as I can. Um, I think that I do, I've got a good understanding of their strengths and weaknesses uh, and where they would fit in or not. Obviously, recruitment becomes a key factor uh, to be at the forefront uh, of getting the best players. I'd like to think I've got some really good contacts and links down in England and in Scotland um, to be able to, I suppose, canvas uh, the project, really, as much as possible and, and sell the dream of what we're trying to do. And I think that's part of it. You know, you've got to engage players. You've got to make them feel... Uh, wanted and valued and you've got to make them believe in, in that playing style and therefore they'll defend it with their life in terms of their physical effort and that's what we're after you know whatever happens we must compete uh, and compete like at the top end of the table. Yeah, Lee thank you for speaking to us and good luck at Abernian FC. Thank you very much thank you.